And tonight, Syracuse police are working leads to find a teen's killer. The victim, a 17-year-old girl, a recent high school grad, was shot in the back as she was running from gunfire on East Fayette Street. The Onondaga County District Attorney calls Carly Ann Short a quintessential innocent victim. She's being remembered tonight. News Channel 9's Christina Galvin shows us how. Justice for who? Carly! And when do we want it? Yeah! Carly Ann Short's friends and family try to find strength after the sudden and shocking way she was killed. According to the district attorney, she was running away from gunfire when she was fatally shot in her back. Gunfire, the DA says, was not meant for her. She likes to make everything fun. She hates drama, hate arguing with people. Her godmother recalling the final time she saw Carly and those words of wisdom from someone just 17 years old. That Tuesday on the 4th, one of the last things that she said to us, because we had family drama that day, uh, she said, don't let the drama get to you, enjoy the day. And then after that, she said, I love you guys, and walked out the house. And uh, that was the last we spoke to Carly. Words she's hanging on to even more now, recalling the pride she felt when Carly walked across the Henniger High School graduation stage to receive a diploma she worked so hard for. She was a beautiful, smart girl. Like, she had plans ahead of her. She just graduated. She could have experience adulthood and it's sad. She was real loving. Everybody loved her. Everybody wanted to be around her. The only thing she wanted to do was like everybody around her to have fun. Like they didn't want no sad moments, everything positive. I never like imagined this would happen to her at all, like a million years and never. This is crazy. Signatures full of love marking her yearbook and balloons ready to be set off in her memory. It's been hard without her. It's only been a couple days, but Family's torn apart without her. And a circle of prayers calling for an end to the cycle of violence. In Syracuse, Christina Galvin, News Channel 9. And a family friend tells us Carly wanted to go to school to be a lawyer. Syracuse police encourage anyone who may have seen what happened to give them a call at 315-442-5222. Calls can be made anonymously.